Hi, what? This your boy Billy Gang Entertainment. Most people know me from the area. I do a lot of photography work. I do a lot of music. So yeah, came to the right place. Today, let's talk about what is your camera status. Let's talk about how can you get better at your video. Please let me know what you think about the video. Let's get straight into it. I recently seen all the latest music videos that I've been doing. I see y'all been commenting. I see y'all been watching. I see y'all supporting the movement. I've been a little busy because I've been, you know, working on this, you know what I'm saying, this PC back here. I finally got me the new PC home desk. So I'm no longer editing on my laptop. So that's good. So God is good for that. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I just wanted to talk a little little bit about, like, you know, in order to start your first very own video production, you know what I'm saying? So the first the first three things that I want to talk about, you know what I'm saying, is like your camera, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I first started shooting music videos, I only had a digital camera at the time. And I shot at least about three to four videos, music videos with that particular camera and it's on my YouTube channel. If you just scroll down a little bit, you'll find it somewhere down there. But um, I just wanted to basically make this video and just talk. Like it don't take much to get started. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about what can you do? You know what I'm saying? So the first thing you would do is get you a camera. You can use a cell phone too now. Don't get me wrong because you got some YouTubers right now, they still using goddamn cell phones just to record you know what I'm saying just the YouTube so look check me out in order to get this video production thing started the first thing you gonna need is a digital camera and I did have it but I don't know if it's up there J-Boy you see that uh that digital camera up there let me talk to him I'll catch him you good so look this is what I started off doing music videos with and see when I first started I didn't even know nothing about the frame rate. I didn't know nothing about exposure. I didn't know nothing about the shutter speed. And I didn't know nothing about the aperture. Ask me how I find out and I'll tell you. So I'm going to give y'all a minute to come in at the bottom. So y'all, this how, is how I found out. So basically, I was on um, YouTube. I was sitting at home watching YouTube. And I had a camera. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start shooting music videos because I'm already an artist. So I was like... I'm going to try to shoot music videos, but not to where I'm going to be charging artists' arm and a leg. You know what I'm saying? Because most video photographers, they charging like three, four, five hundred dollars for videos. And I understand everybody don't have that budget to pay. So I came in and I just started shooting music videos for my whole team. Just trying to put my whole, my whole little, you know, my little city on, 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 on the map. You know what I'm saying? Give them some visuals. So I started with this right here. Now I moved up to what I'm what I'm recording on right now, as y'all can see. I know y'all see the quality. Y'all see my face look good, don't y'all? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a uh, Lumix. I'm using a Lumix GX3, and it's not even 4K yet. So don't even get the hype about 4K because everybody, if you don't even got no power computer, you can't even add 4K footage in them. You know what I'm saying? So don't even worry about the 4K right now. And and on top of that, if you don't have a 4K TV or you don't have no 4K channels. Or nothing to watch it on. What 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 does it matter? You watch 1080p every day on um, on TV. You know what I'm saying? Full HD. So you don't have to go all out the budget and go buy a 4K camera just to start off. You can start off with anything from a Canon T3i to a Canon 60D. And ask me how I know because I did my research. You know what I'm saying? I'll get you a Lumix. But I prefer you to get for the low light is the Sunny. Sunny. A6300 or the A6400, actually that's what I'm getting next, so I'm upgrading again, yeah, very soon. So yeah, man, and then you got to get you a PC, you got to get you a PC. And when I first started, I started with a, I started with an HP, it was a laptop, an iCore 3 Intel. Started with that, it was an HP, and um, I ain't gonna lie, it, it kind of got me through the little phases that I did go through in order to, you know, to get where I'm at now. So I can't say, you know, it got me where I, where I needed to be at, but it started getting to a point where the computer started lagging and when I'm editing, you know, like the more the more work that you're doing when you video editing, you want your, your process to be fast when you're editing, you know what I'm saying? So I upgraded to the 
Ryzen 7. And what I mean by the Ryzen 7, for everybody that don't know, I know y'all know about the Ryzen 7 because it's a gaming PC, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I got a Ryzen 7. I got a uh, 3700X with a, um, I think it's a GX5060 50, or something like that. Um, but I know it's an 8 core. I know we running at least on um, yeah. solid state uh, SSD drive in there. Also with uh, 8 gigs of RAM. But I am going to upgrade the RAM. So I can upgrade my whole computer with no problems. Like, you know what I'm saying? That particular PC because I can add parts to it basically. You know what I'm saying? If you understand what I'm trying to say. You know, excuse me. I'm still from the hood. So y'all, you know, that's just the way I talk. You know, I'm trying to. Trying, you know what I'm saying? But you know how that thing goes. So, you know, I'm trying to be presentation. You know what I'm saying? When I get on the camera for y'all. Because, you know, they tell you to just be who you is when you're on the camera. But. Sometimes you got to be professional, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I, I ain't been doing nothing lately, though. I just been chilling at the house video editing. Kodak Black, NBA Youngboy, and Jack Boy. I made a video about those guys because them boys are breaking the internet right now. So, I got a little tension off that. I posted it last night, and I'm almost at like four or 500 views within, you know what I'm saying, a couple hours since last night. So, and then I dropped two new music videos on my page today at 12 o'clock. So y'all make sure y'all go on, um, tune in to that and go check it out. And I will be doing behind the scenes on my next couple video shoots. So y'all can get a chance to check out, you know, the camera movements and all that good shit. So like, if there's anything else that I can help y'all with or y'all need to know, hit me up on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Junior Gang Productions. You can go follow me on Facebook at Junior Gang ENT. You know what I'm saying? And also, yeah, my YouTube, SoundCloud, everything Junior Gang ENT. The only thing different is my Instagram, and it was Junior Gang ENT, but they blocked me. So I had to change it to Junior Gang's Production. So yeah, that's what it is for the day. Appreciate all the love, all the support, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Y'all already know Gang Gang. I'll see y'all probably next week. I'm going to get back into the reaction videos, so y'all start sending me reaction videos.